Yeah, what's up, what's up, what's up, man? Y'all already know what's going on, man, by the title of the video. Yes, I did take delivery of a brand new 2020 Ram Big Horn. Uh, it wasn't today. I told y'all already in the last video, if you watched all the way to the end, you already know what's going on with me. You already know what's up, right? So I'm behind on a lot of videos. I'm behind on a lot of content. However, I did take delivery of a brand new Ram 2020. So... Here it is, I'm finna do the bit reveal for y'all so y'all see what's going on. I'm out in the middle of a parking lot, so no, don't mind me. I might be a little uh, distracted, but uh, here we go, man. I'm gonna show y'all what we're working with. Bam! Yeah, man. Yeah, big, big, uh, big blue. That, that's what it is. So yeah, I done had the truck for quite a while now. Uh, it has been, I got the truck at the end of September. Is when I initially got the truck. So if y'all watched my videos, a few videos back, I said that I was uh, at the dealership uh, completing the order. However, things didn't go as planned as what I thought it was gonna be. Uh, I thought I had then called myself putting in the order and making the order for a vehicle, but evidently I just spec'd it out and it didn't come to fruition because I had no clue as what I was doing. I just walked in the dealership, told them what I wanted, went through the little category. They told me I was gonna have to put some money down. At the end of what we did, the guy was like, good news, you don't gotta put no money down. Now, I know now, I know better. So if you don't put no money down, uh, when you go in and call yourself ordering a car, ordering a vehicle, that means that you did not purchase the vehicle. All you did was spec it out and that was it. So. It's like a 50-50, either the, the car or the truck going to come or it's not. So, uh, mines didn't come because all I technically did was spec out what I wanted and the car never showed up. So, they called me and was like, look, we got some stuff down here if you want to take a look at it. Blah, 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 woo, woo, just so they can still get me as a customer. I was cool with it, you know what I'm saying, because they handled me rather well. And I, I, I figured, so I went on and, you know, indulged in them. But um, yeah, that's enough of that, man. Let's get on into this this big blue, uh big blue horn, big big horn. You know what I'm saying? 2020, man. Uh, I don't know what all I can say about it. Uh, the truck is nice as hell, man. It's cool. Got the big screen, not the big ass 12 inch screen that everybody be complaining about. Some old man, why you ain't get the big nigga? Why you ain't buy a truck? Why you ain't buy one? You wanna keep talking about why I ain't got the big screen? This is big enough for me, okay? I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? Big ass compartment down here. Y'all don't mind me. I just wanna grab myself some smoothies. They gave me some extras because I'm that guy. You know what I'm saying? The compartment down here at the bottom, you put all your little knickknacks, whatever you wanna put down there. Cell phone, charger. Uh, it actually holds the phone in those little three loops right there. You know what I'm saying? I got all the tow package, the buttons and all that. You know what I'm saying? If you into that kind of thing. Push start, of course. We don't deal with no keys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the infotainment system is, is is pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? You got all your little uh, buttons. They touch. You can control the climate, how you want to do it. It's also dual climate control. Um, you know what I'm saying? So you can control your side or the passenger side all in one button. It goes up to seven speeds. Uh, that's all your controls. The mirror, dimmer, backup camera. You got the settings and all that. You got your apps right there. You know what I'm saying? It got, it's got multiple things you can do with that. And I got navigation with mine. Um, and I don't use it because I use Waze on my phone. Uh, that's the phone. I'm not going to touch that because it might mess up the recording. I'm recording off the iPhone. Okay. Uh, settings. You got language, display, units. And it's a long, 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 long list of things that you can do a control off of this. You know what I'm saying? But it's pretty cool, man. I, I, I mess with the truck heavy. Um, you know, it is what it is, man. It's a 2020. What can you expect? Man, it's a big horn, as you can see. Good little spacious feet room for your passenger. Um, yeah, then you got your controls up here. You got a uh, assist in case you have an emergency. You can use the SOS button. My girl hit it last night on accident. The, the truck started calling people for help. Yeah, it was crazy. 
Um, you got your rear window right here. I can open it up using the button. Slides back and forth, you feel me? Yes, sir. And that big cab in the back, boy, lots of room. Now, I done seen hella trucks and the seats be damn near touching the back seat. I don't like that. That's not cool. Also got an additional cup holders for the people in the back. You know what I'm saying? And you got your little cubby hole right there. You feel me? And this slides back and forth. So if you want to hide something or just get some stuff out of the way, you got your little organizer clutter control right there. You feel me? Put them down. You got also additional space right there with extra charger ports. And you put it up again. You got the whole cubby hole in there. Damn, it need to be cleaned up. But uh, yeah, and I don't know what this is. This is like an instrument if you want to, you know, get get down with some measurements and some uh, on top of your head. I don't know why you would, but I right, whatever. I'm not gonna judge. All right, slide that back. Driver's seat is all the way back. It's got pretty spacious room in here, man. I don't have no complaints. I'm a big dude. I got plenty of room in here, plenty of leg room. You got extra cup. It's cup holders all over the truck, man. I don't know how many drinks you can have at one time. Damn. It's two there, two there, that's four. Two over here, that's six. You got two more over there, that's eight. How many drinks gonna be in the damn truck? And here go another one. Nine and ten, okay? All right. So power everything. Uh, this is the cloth interior. It's not leather. Um... You got your phone, you can lay down there that does not charge in my vehicle. You got your vents back here for the people in the back. I uh, got a battery to put in my other car. Uh, the battery went dead, don't mind that. Uh, then you just slap this one time and boom, that folds that up. You know what I'm saying? You can do that all, all the way across and that gives you like exceptional room in the back. Like it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? And then I got the weatherproof mats, you feel me? And also, this is something if you didn't know about these Ram trucks, these new ones come with coolers. Like, but how far is that? Like, I could throw some ice in there, put it out, dump the water out, put some stuff in there to keep it cool. You know what I'm saying? And that's that. But, yeah. Let's slide these down. Yeah, but I what that is yeah but the truck though man i like it love the truck i put these on here at the dealership i asked for those specifically because i got short people that ride with me so they not gonna be able to jump in the truck with no problem like me you know what i'm saying i would show y'all the back but you know i got my tag on here now but yeah let's see how we can maneuver that yeah 2020 big horn it's the round, y'all got, now I got the tow package on there. I got the tow at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, I love the truck, man. It's been good to me. And it got some giddy up on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I pressed the gas. I didn't did like a, you know, 104 in Mexico when I had then shipped the car out there to have fun one weekend. But yeah, they got the uh, sensors, all that stuff on the uh, mirrors and all that. You know what I'm saying? Chrome package. I do want to do a chrome delete on here because I do not like the chrome. That's why I went with the black running board because I want to do everything all black. Black it out. But we'll see, man. We'll see how that goes. Like I told you, I've been dealing with stuff. I've been in lazy mood. Lazy man mode. Don't want to get nothing done. So, and I'm going to show y'all something else that's neat that I like on here. When you be in tight spaces, especially when I park at the crib, I do this all the time. So if you look, the mirrors actually fold in and they fold in with a touch of a button and they go back out real easily. It's nothing hard. Um, the entertainment system in here is crazy. Like the music gets like, boy, loud in here. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see if somebody playing something. Nah, ain't nobody playing that. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I see. I don't even listen to the radio, so ain't nothing programmed at all. So let's see. Nigga don't like being tipsy. She don't do the hit. He just white wine. Pop the cork on some new Pina Grigio. Yeah. Pull up in the Porsche with a freaking. Yeah. Pull up in the Porsche with a freaking. All right, we're going to turn that down before we get copyrighted. 
Um, uh, cause I'm not doing no free promo for nobody. You understand me? So uh, yeah, let me turn the heat down. Cause it's about what is it? 50 degrees out here in Georgia right now. Um, but yeah. Uh, I actually, like I said, I went to the dealership, called myself purchasing a vehicle, um, pre-ordering it, and it went by, like two months went by, the car never came, so I'm like, what the hell going on? So I kept checking with the dealership, they like, oh, they kicked it out, but they, you know, we put the order back in for you, they kicked it out, we put it back in, this happened twice. So the third time, I'm like, man, what the hell is going on, man? So the, the, the guy was like, well, the specific color you ordered... I guess it doesn't come on that vehicle they give uh, on the vehicle you want it no more. So he was like, do you want to do this or do that? He was like, my, you know, my guy down here told me he'll work out a deal for you for being so patient or whatever. So just come down and look at some stuff. So when I went out there, I actually just was like, man, you know what? I need a new truck. Because the one I got is, is uh, a 94 and it didn't took me through hell all 2020. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get a down a truck, man. Call it a day. So this one actually just came, like when I pulled up to the dealership, this just got off of the truck. This and like three other trucks. And this was the specific one that I went and looked at and, and just was like, all right, this is the one out of the three that came out the trailer. So I got the truck with zero miles on it. Uh, I was the first driver, the first occupant. The transition and everything was smooth. Um, you know, they had to take it out of, uh, what they call it, uh, travel mode, whatever it is, they had to do all this stuff to like turn the car on basically when you first uh, buy a car. I ain't never went through that experience because I ain't never actually bought a car brand new. So all this shit was new to me. It was a cool experience. Uh, I appreciate the guys down there that took care of me. They did an awesome job. I had no complaints. I left a great review on their uh, website for them. And um, I'll probably be going back to purchase from them again. It just depends. I don't know. I keep going back and forth in my head about this damn Hellcat or a ZL1. So I don't know. I don't know what I want. I go back and forth every week. But uh, that's for a future video. So y'all comment down below. Let me know how y'all like the truck. Um, here got some more gadgets right here uh, that I forgot to mention. It's a little 12 volt DC. And then, you, you know, sometimes I put my phone up here just to lay it down or whatever. You got a nice little ram symbol. Uh, this, I don't know what you would call this, um, but it's like a nice little feature though. It's nice like, you know, fake little wood grain, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you got a nice big bass uh, speaker up there that booms. The speaker's in the two corners over there. Um, it's a nice overall truck, man. You got that nice big horn logo over there. Good spacious. Uh, stuff inside of there and your uh glove compartment is extra few hidden other uh things in the truck but yeah man I, i'm i'm satisfied with the truck everybody always stop me and give me compliments on the truck even other ram truck owners the chevrolet truck owners everybody that stopped me in this truck the one they love the color two they love the truck they say it's a nice truck so you know i get compliments on it all the time I'm satisfied with my purchase. I'm glad I chose it. You know what I'm saying? Stuff happened for a reason, and you just got to take it as a sign and just roll with it. And that's what I did with this. So, you know, I got what I was supposed to have in a sense, and that's what you want to say. But I appreciate y'all watching the video this long. I know I done dragged it out. Um, y'all, make sure y'all like the video. Comment down below. Hit the subscribe button for me, man. Watch some more videos. Um, I'm trying to be consistent. And, and you know, take myself out of this element that I'm going through behind the lens of the camera. I won't keep going into detail about it, but I gotta find something positive to do to take my mind off of, you know, what I'm dealing with. So I would appreciate it if y'all stay tuned and stay locked in with me, man. I'm gonna keep dropping these videos as much as I can. So I appreciate it, man. Once again, hit the like button for me, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment down below. Do you like the truck? Do you want a truck? Have you thought about buying a truck? Let me know how you think I did on the, on the review. This is my first car review. You know what I'm saying? So y'all let me know what y'all think. All right? I'll holler at y'all next time. Once again, thank you for watching the video. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. I'll see y'all next time. All right? Peace.